everybody, I'm in the Little Wood, also known as Martin, and welcome back to Minecraft. But today, on the Xbox 360 from Microsoft, and I'm actually very excited to play this. So, uh, I had a little dibble and dabble around on it last night, and I thought maybe I should just skip the tutorial and go straight into, like, a survival game, and, like, maybe start a Let's Play on this, I don't know. But I thought, no, I'll show you the tutorial, because there are quite a few bits to go through, control-wise. So, we're going to jump straight to the tutorial here. Um, and really, all I can say about Minecraft for the Xbox is it works quite well. And I'm not overly surprised, because I've actually used my Xbox controller on the PC before and use programs in order to play it with the Xbox controller but um but yeah so that's all good so it's the right stick to look around left stick to move as always A to jump as you'd expect now the only problem for me with this okay is if you want to break a block you hold down the right trigger and obviously on the PC it's the left mouse button and if you want to place something it's the left mouse button instead of the right and they're actually inverted which to me is a little bit annoying and I went into the settings to try and change this around but you can only change like particular ones you can only change like you know entire control panels instead of individual controls which I don't know I quite like it if we had that flexibility that we have on the PC where you know where you can actually choose which one you want to do but I don't know it's fine whatever floats your boat really oh uh hooray you've been awarded a gamer pick from a uh, hot featuring Steve from Minecraft Brilliant. I, I swear I unlocked that last night. Because uh, I had a little play for this last night on the live stream whilst I was dead on the uh, survival games. And that's fine. So I'm going to basically break away a load of these. The crafting recipes and stuff are actually really easy to get used to. You'll see these in about two seconds time. Right, we've got all of those. Press Y. Opens up your inventory. Now the inventory moves over to the left. But I think once you're out of the tutorial area, it'll actually stay central in the screen, which is all good. Uh, and it's pretty much just telling you that you can move around with the left mouse button. Uh, sorry, the left. I keep saying mouse button. The left joystick, should I say. And then you can actually just like press A on things. Now you see my sensitivity is quite high right now, so I'm struggling to control it. It's because the sensitivity initially is set to about, I think it's 100, which is pretty slow to be honest, which works well in the menus, but actually controlling it in-game can be a little bit slow. So I tell you, if I go for a midpoint of 1, 2, 5, that might be a bit easier to do. Uh, let me just open up the inventory again. Oh yeah, see that's about right for me actually. Now what you can do is you can actually divide these blocks by pressing X. You take half of them. If you want to place one, you press X again. And you obviously you press A to pick up the lot. And you press X again. Uh, quick move is just like you get on the PC. It's like a shift click. So you just press Y and it moves everything around and about, which is good. Uh, it's the LB and RB buttons at the top of the pad. If you want to switch between items in your hotbar. And then we're probably going to go into the crafting part of the game now. So if I press X. This is the crafting interface. Really, really simple. So obviously, uh, the amount of options that you have available to you will actually change depending on whether you've just clicked on a crafting bench or if you haven't. So I'm just going to click for all of the tutorial messages in the top corner because we all know how Minecraft works by now, to be honest. So that's fine. There we go. Cool. So now that's opened up to us. Basically, we've got a ton of wood in our inventory, like we can see. And you can basically hover over any of these things. So I'm going to need to make a crafting table. I can make sticks when I get a bit more wood. Um, basically, making wood is just logs to wood. I'll just do the entire lot of those and I'll make some sticks as well and now actually if I press the RB button the RB button and the LB button go between the hot bar when you're not in the inventory or the crafting area and then when you are <clears throat> It actually goes between the different options on this menu, so that's all good. Uh, I don't think I can actually make anything else right now No, it doesn't like I can Oh, all right, that's for making diamond blocks. Ah, I see. And then you've got all the things to make the dies as well. Lapis is in the game. Oh, yeah. Now, this is actually, I think a lot of people have been saying that this is Minecraft 1.6. So, there might be a couple of things missing, obviously, from the version that we currently play today. Because, you know, it's come a long way since then. But if I were to place down this crafting bench. There you go. I'll pop that down. Uh, oh, we need to mine something. So, if I just left click on that. Um, right, we're going to go towards the items. Now, the items basically are grouped up in their tiers. So, you can basically scroll between them all. And it goes on a scrolling uh, return as well. So, it's not like, oh, you'll go upwards and it's stone uh, wood at the top, then stone, then blah, 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 blah. And then it stops at the bottom. It actually just goes around in a circle, which I thought was quite nice. Uh, so, if I make a stone one. This is typically what I do, like, in any Let's Play. I always just, like, get myself kitted out with stone stuff instead of worrying about taking down trees with a wooden axe and stuff there's no point to it <laughs> it's just it's just a waste of everyone's time really so 
There we go. Uh, so if you want to know when this game's available, actually, the reason I have it early, uh, I need to say a big thank you to Minecraft Chick, because obviously she works at Mojang now, and she's given out a load of uh, copies to commentators and, you know, press people and stuff, so I was really happy that she was able to give me a copy. So if you can, why not go over to her Twitter page? Uh, she's called Lydia Winters now on Twitter, and if you can tweet her and thank her for giving me a copy, that would be really nice of you. And maybe even go check out her channel. She's actually, just yesterday, uh, released a new song parody. It's about Minecraft, it's about dogs and ocelots, and uh, it's a parody of Gotti, somebody that I used to know. So maybe that could be our way of repaying her if we show her some love on that music video. So if you could do that, that would be ethem. Right, now I'm just going to... What am I going to make? I'll make a furnace because it's going to get me to make one of those later on anyway. Uh, I'm going to make a... Should I make a stone pickaxe? There you go, yeah. I'll make a stone one. Oh, oh, I need sticks. Okay, that's fine. So I'll make a couple of those. Throw together a wood cutting axe. Just get a bit more wood, because I'm going to have to basically, yeah, the abandoned miner's shelter. It's that little house that we're in just a second ago. We basically just have to fill it up. So, if we do that, we'll finish off building the house on it. Um, I could actually do this just in the normal crafting area. Tons of wood. There we go. Right, so it's left click to place. Although, admittedly, as much as I complained about it being left click to place, I have gotten quite used to it, so... Oh, have we completed the tutorial? What? But we've not even gotten to fishing or boats or anything like that yet. No, I'm going to stay here until we've done those. Right, there we go. Oh, bugger. Uh, there we go. Just go across to that one. There we are. Now, I've actually... I'm playing in this world right now, and whenever I play, if I was to do this as a Let's Play, you'll have to let me know in the comments section if you want to see this as a Let's Play, because I have actually been after doing, like, a vanilla-style series. I think maybe this is, like, really perfectly timed for me. But um, probably what I'll do is I'll always make sure that the world is open, because, basically, if you look on the list by pressing Select, you can see the players that are there. And, actually, whenever you load up your world when you're playing and single-player, um, you can set it to net play, and you can also set it to invite only or public so probably what i'll do is i'll just load up my let's play whenever i'm recording it and just set it to public and i think i, I could just leave it at that uh oh i could do with making a sword actually let me just go make one now the only thing that i miss is sprinting because i tried doing the left shift click as in like the left um joystick but that actually just changes your perspectives it'd be nice if we could have our own skins in there but i imagine that's going to be a little way off there might be a way of putting in your minecraft username but obviously then people could pose as other people so I'm not sure how they'll go about it maybe they'll do a thing where you can draw your skin in in the game I think that could be quite cool like if you could actually have like a skin editor within the Xbox version of it uh, and speaking of which the right click in when you press the jo right joystick in is crouch so there you go you actually crouch when you're in a boat as well the little character in the top left corner crouches so I'll show you him in just a second uh, what was I gonna make I was making a, a sword wasn't it yeah a sword Beautiful. Got you. Uh, right, I need to put you into the hot bar. We'll change out for the map in a minute. Oh, we got a sapling! Ah! We got a sapling already! Yes! There you go. So we can't get critical hits in this. I'm wondering how quickly they're going to be able to develop from the current version of Minecraft we've got right the way through to, you know, from, from this one right the way through to that one. So it'll be interesting to see what they add. Maybe they'll have exclusive items as well for the Xbox. Because I remember in, uh, I think it was the iPhone version, there's like an item that's either visible or it's invisible, but in the sprite pages. And it's actually like a camera stand. So I wonder if we'll get that available to us. It might be nice if we could save our screenshots in uh, in this version of Minecraft. I haven't I haven't gone all the way through the tutorial, so maybe there is a screenshot method that I haven't found out about yet. But um, what was I doing? I was going to make a door, wasn't I? So let me just left click on there. Do do do. Get a ton of wood. One thing that I've noticed as well, and I absolutely adore, is that the music is constant. That's one thing that I've always wanted in the original version of Minecraft, is the ability to just have that whenever I want. You know, the constant music. I've even looked for mods, and I can't really find any mods where it ups the rotation of the songs. I don't really know how they're initiated. It's, it's kind of weird. There we go, so I've got that. I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll just very quickly um, pop this inside of the, uh, inside of the house. There we go. So it's probably going to get us to cook something in a couple of minutes. So I've got a furnace. got a crafting bench. Beautiful stuff. Now, if I remember, it lets you get... Um, oh, do you want me to make a shovel? Let me do that for you, Hannah. Have I already got a stick? I need one more. And then I'll make a shovel. Beautiful. There we go. Uh, but yeah, in a minute, I'll probably ask us to make some charcoal. Because you can actually make charcoal in this one. I don't remember if that was in 1.6. I think the game as a whole is roughly 1.6. But there are a couple of things that are still carried through from the previous versions. But there we go. Beautiful stuff. I wonder if uh, abandoned mine shafts and stuff are added in. You know, because they've got a couple of like extra little bits in it. Uh, I've already placed my furnace in the world. 
Oh, it's just a reminder. Okay. Hold on. Let me see if I can get out of the tutorial area. Because really the only thing left. If I just go over here and show you the boats and the fishing rods which are still in the game. And then other than that in this area there's not really anything else to explore. So if I just quickly grab our boat. Doo -doo -doo. Uh, what should I replace it for? The map. That'll do. There you go. Let's pop the boat in. Left click to place, and we we'll jump into it like that. There we go. So yeah, pretty much controlling it the same way as before. So, you know, left click is basically right, right, right stick is basically to move your view around. Left stick is to actually move your physical character. So the left stick is W A S and D, and uh, the boats behave in pretty much an identical way. They're not as buggy. They're still a little bit sort of like you know swayy like the original Minecraft one is, but I think that's what's quite endearing about it, which is nice. Uh, there we go. Is it still asking me to place that furnace? <laughs> Right, hold on. I'll just go pick the furnace back up and then I'll place it back down before it starts nagging on at me about it. Let me head over here. Hold on. Uh, right. Oh, no, no. Oh, okay, fine. You're just going to go straight into the tutorial. Beautiful. Cool. Right, well, let me go get some uh, normal wood then. And I can make the charcoal as you've so requested. Uh, let's go for this tree here. There we go. I'm going to some of these. Oh, when did I get an egg? Oh, I've not actually had an egg yet. Oh, you can throw it. Beautiful. Ah, oh, bugger. I wonder if they actually spawn anything. They must do. I've, I'm pretty sure that was a thing from the very, very early days, wasn't it? So, let's see if we can find another egg later on. There's a few chickens and cows that keep lurking around, so we'll do that. Uh, now, is it... It's those in the top, isn't it? I can't even remember the most basic Minecraft mechanics, because <laughs> I'm always playing Kingdom of the Saplings, and it, charcoal isn't something that I make anymore. So, it's just sort of like, meh, whatever. But, yeah, so that's all good. Right. Come on. There we go. Whoa! Pfft. Oh my god! That's the biggest piece of charcoal I've ever seen. Oh, it's shrunk. Oh. Okay. Charcoal can be used as fuel. Blah, 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 blah. Placing sand in the ingredient slot allows you to make glass. Create some glass blocks. All right, hold on a minute. Um, oh, I need sand, actually. Where's sand at? Oh, we got some here. Go right the way across there. There we go. Grab some. Oh, flooded myself in. Bloody hell. There, there we go. Out we get. Right, cool. So, just whack that into there. Oh, steady. There we go. You'll also notice as well, actually, uh, if I just take that out of there, you'll notice that there's a slight locking system, which is really nice. So, it has like a snap to grid method. See how I can't rest in between either of them? It just snaps towards one or the other, which actually helps out a lot because, obviously, this isn't as accurate as using a mouse. So, you need that little extra bit of guidance to help you along with that. Uh, you want me to make a torch, do you? Okay. Uh, I actually could just do that in my crafting area. There we go. What's that? Oh, that's a torch. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm not sure why they've done that. They've put the different torches on different recipes. So the torch that you make with coal and the torch that you make with charcoal are on different points. Unless there's some kind of difference with the items themselves that I'm unaware of at the minute. Maybe one of... Oh, we completed the tutorial. Beautiful. When you're ready to explore further, blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah. It says Minecraft up there, by the way. If you haven't seen that yet. Although I thought there was a world error just over there. Because it looks like it's cut off, doesn't it? I feel like the border should go around it to the to the right and the left a little bit, but that's just me nitpicking. <laughs> so I just ignore me. I'm just being really picky right now. I'm just making like lots of little tiny suggestions that maybe you know they might implement into the game, and then when they do, completely unrelated to the, what I've said, I can be like, oh yeah, yeah, that's that's because of me. That's because of me. Yeah, that's cool. I know how to fish. Thank you. Yeah. Wait for it to bob, and oh god, I'm never going to be able to catch a fish if it keeps showing me the tutorial bits. I oh, don't know. There we go. Oh, whoa, hold on a minute. Oh, it didn't even bob down and I just pulled it and it was there. Oh, maybe, oh wait, hold on, how did fishing used to work? Did fishing used to work off, you just wait for a while and then you do it, or does it actually bob down? Let's find out, hold on. Come on, fishies. Make the bait bob. Come on. Come on. Oh yeah, it does, it bobs down, beautiful. Uh, should I take, I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to take these with me. Just in case I'm going to need them. I'm pretty sure I won't get told off and not allowed to leave the tutorial area if I don't bring them. It should be okay. Come on. There we go. And... Uh, come on. There we go. Got it. Good. Right, cool. Through the tutorial area. I Actually, I've been through this a little bit, actually. I went through here ever so slightly and had a little wander about. Because there is actually a really nice village in here. Now, I'm wondering if these villages are just for the tutorial. Or if the villages are actually going to be... Uh, available in this version of Minecraft because I know it's mostly based around 1.6. We've got the old like you know we've got the old brick texture, we've got the old cobblestone texture. So I'm wondering if these villagers are going to pop up randomly. Obviously they won't have testificates in them, but it'd be nice to see if they did in the future. Um, signs can show players. Where's signs at? 
Haven't seen any signs, have I? No, there's none in the area around me. Okay, there you go. You can only sleep at night, as always, which is good. Uh, speaking of which, where is sheep at? I came here last night and there was a couple of sheep around the area. Let me see if I can find them. Hold on. Where are they? Come to me, sheep! Where are they? Oh, they're not here. Okay, never mind. Right, there we go. Oh, we got the levers on the doors. Beautiful stuff. Got iron doors. No. No, another bed. A bed should be in a safe place, well lit, so place that the monsters can't wake. Oh, of course, yeah, because it works off the old system, doesn't it? It works off lighting, making sure that you can sleep or not, as opposed to uh, before, uh, as opposed to now, where it's actually if there's mobs in the surrounding area. Uh, oh God, yes, I need to show you this. Okay, so basically, minecarts in this are ridiculously fast. I don't remember if this is what it was like years and years ago, but um, watch this. You ready? Um, there we go. <laughs> Look how fast this goes. <laughs> it is unreal. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's just... Re oh, God, I love it. Oh, I took the minecart with me. That's fine. That's all good. Uh, I'm going up into this castle. Now, this is where I got stuck yesterday. I came into this castle, and I wasn't really sure where I was, where I was supposed to be going after that. So, where are we going? Down into the mine, maybe? There's a... There's a boat there. Do we, just, do we just crack a boat down there? I don't have a boat with me, though, do I? Right, hold on. I have to make one. Let me just put the crafting table down. Uh, there you go. Make myself a boat. Uh, now, which category would boats come under? Hmm. Oh, there we go. Oh, so transport. Oh, okay, so transport has its own individual section, which is quite nice. Ah, fair enough. There we go, and gotcha. Beautiful stuff. Right, I'm just going to go back up into the castle. I'm just waiting for the next tutorial step, you know, where it's telling me where to go next. But I got to this area last night, and there wasn't really anything in here. I had no instructions. You got all the paintings still, which are nice. Paintings are here. Yes! Can we take one of them? Yeah, we'll do that. Cool. But yeah, I got to here last night, and then there wasn't really anything left to do. So, I think that might be all for the tutorial. So, I'm half tempted just to load up a, a single-player world, and we'll have a little play around in it. We'll do, like, like five minutes in there, and see how you spawn and stuff, and then we can leave it there. And then what we can do is you can tell me if you'd like to see this as a Let's Play, or if you're just like, meh, I'm not too bothered. I think they're pumpkins over there, aren't they? Oh! <laughs> Sorry. Oh, swimming as well. Yeah, I forgot to tell you about swimming. Swimming is you press A to go upwards. That's a thing that happens in the game. I wonder if I actually just go off into the world now, if it'll let me uh, swim away. Let's have a go. There we go. Uh, there we go. Forwards. Right. It might tell me that I'm leaving the game area. That might be a thing that happens. I noticed that there's lighting bugs as well. See over to the right? There's a lighting bug there and there's a lighting bug over there as well. So still in. Oh, no, it's gone. There you go. So you can, still tell, you can still tell that some bits in here are, are still, you know, being worked on a little bit. So, I think it's just going to let me go. Are you going to let me go? Yeah, I think so. That's the big Minecraft sign, so I don't need to go to that. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's hop out of that. Uh, save, save game? Okay, save game. <laughs> Whatever. Not that everybody can play the tutorial. It's fine. But there we go. Now, I'm wondering if that background, actually, the rotating background, is from the world that you always have. Or if it only ever, on the main menu, shows you um, the tutorial world. Hopefully, it'll show you the latest level that you've played on. But, um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Come on. Creepers explode when they get close to you. <laughs> nice. One thing that I've noticed is missing, actually. Unless I'm just not seeing it right now. Yeah, look. You don't get, like, the crazy random text on it, which I kind of miss. That's sort of been there since the very, very start of Minecraft, hasn't it? You know, where the, the yellow text strobes with a random message all the time. Although I suppose it's not as easy for them to update them, is it? So, I don't know. Let's have another go at a new game then. So, uh, I don't want to resume game. No. Oh, oh wait. Wow, you can just hop straight back into it like that. Okay, that's pretty impressive. I'm a fan of that. Right, uh, exit game. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Does that just exit the one? Oh, no, I just want to start a new world. How do I start a new world? Uh, share. What can you share with people? And press Y. Ah. So that's how you take screenshots. No, wait, wait, wait. But how do you do that in-game? Wait, wait. If I was to take a picture of, like, say that. We haven't really got much of a scenery. Let's take a picture of the moon. Right, now, if I was to press start and then press Y, what would that take a picture of? Let's have a look. Will it show us the picture that it's taken? It does. Oh, okay. Brilliant. So, oh, you can share it to Facebook. You can add a message. That's quite cool. Okay, I like that. That's pretty sweet. Uh, let's exit game then. So I'm assuming uh, exit and save. There we go. So, oh yes, exit this current version of this world. Yes. Okay, cool. I thought that meant it was going to exit the entire game and go back to the Xbox dashboard. Okay. 
No one at Mojang has ever seen Junk Boy's face. Okay, so they've got the funny little messages at the bottom, I suppose, then. That's fine. Right, let's do this, then. Uh, let's create a new world. Let's call it, um... Oh, what should we call it? Uh, in the Xbox or something? Um, or oh, what do we call it? Yeah, let's call it in the Xbox. There we go. And to the H, and to the E, there we go. Speaking of which, actually, I am wondering, I might give this a go off video, and if it works, then that would be amazing. But a lot of people have been saying that they're not going to get Minecraft for the Xbox, because they don't like the idea of not playing with a mouse and keyboard. But I know that mice and keyboard do work on most, you know, next-gen consoles. So I'm wondering if this actually allows you to plug a mouse and a keyboard into it and use that. That would be pretty cool, actually. Uh, what do I play on? I'll play on normal. There we go. Um, online game, yes. Invite only, no. There we go. Let's go in. Let's do like five minutes on this, and we'll see what happens. So starting now, five minutes. We'll see how we get on. And if you want to see this as a let's play, you'll have to let me know in the comments section, and we'll see how it goes. But um, I like this so far. It's nice. I think one thing that people will really like as well is that this might be their first time playing Minecraft without really crappy frame rate. Because obviously not everybody has, you know, an amazing PC to play it. Some people only have laptops and stuff like that. So actually seeing a really smooth frame rate is going to be really foreign to some people. So I can imagine how this can be quite exciting for them. Not all Swedish people have blonde hair. Some like Jens from Mojang even have ginger hair. <gasps> the ginger ninja. Jens, Jeb, whatever people call him. Oh my god, please tell me my seed worked. Has it got the same seed generations? Oh my god, it has. I think... Please, please tell me it has those two really cool archways just up here. Just up there. Oh, please. Go on. This is like my old, old world. Yes! Oh, my God, yes. I don't know if anybody remembers this world. But this is the world just here, actually, on this spot right here. Is where uh, I did the yog box. Uh, right here as well, on this spot just here, is where I had the, uh, the clay soldiers as well. And then there was that really cool archway just there. Oh my god, yes, I remember this place. This is like Yogbox Let's Play number one, which turned into Kingdom of the Saplings, and this was the world that we inhabited. Oh god, I know this place like the back of my hand, I think. Or at least the initial starting area. I'm going to see if there's actually um, any dungeons as well. Because if I remember rightly, there was a dungeon underneath this place. You just have to go down through some water first, so if we hear a ton of zombies, I might want to gear myself up first. Here we go, grab a couple of these. But, oh my god, yes. <laughs> this is so cool. Okay, cool. Well, I tell you what, I won't do a Let's Play in this world because I know this world too well. So what I'll do is, if we do do a Let's Play, um, I'll actually choose a new seed. I'll just go for a random one. And we'll see how things go. Bugger off you. Nope. There we go. Hopefully those messages won't appear forever. You know the messages at the top right corner. Hopefully they'll only, they'll only be a temporary thing. So, like the first... It's like in Zelda. The first time you encounter an item, it'll let you know what the score is with it. There we go. I, I can't see him, it's too dark. They have gamma settings in this game, but it doesn't go much higher than this. I'm already on about half gamma, so that's already a bit of a downside to it. Oh, the sheep over there! <gasps> yes, the sheep! The sheep are like the uh, the punch kill, aren't they? Well, not kill, but punch to shear them. Come here, friend. Oh, no, no, no. There we go, beautiful stuff. Now, the only problem is we don't have breeding in this, do we? And I'm pretty sure you don't grow your wool back, so... So that's going to be all from you for today. Right, uh, speaking of which, let's get my crafting on. Oh, oh god, it's showing me the entire tutorial again. I may as well have just done this from the start. <laughs> oh my god, right, okay. There we go, let's crack down a crafting bench. There we go, beautiful stuff. Right, uh, I'm going to need to make some sticks. May as well get a, uh, a wooden pickaxe, there we go. Just Oh, there we go, break down here. Coolio. So yeah, this pretty much plays like the original Minecraft. I haven't noticed, you know, any major differences just yet. Or at least the, the main, it plays like Minecraft for 1.6, shall we say, to be more specific. It doesn't feel like Minecraft we have nowadays, you know. We don't have Sprint, we don't have anything like that. We don't have Hunger Bars, that's kind of a good thing. And actually, now that I think about it, that means that when you kill stuff like uh, cows, where were cows at? I'll make a sword in a second. But um, that obviously means that when you eat, it's going to heal you straight away, which is cool. That's one thing I kind of missed, actually, because the instant health potions are good, but it takes too long to drink them, so they don't really behave like food does. Because obviously food was like one click, bang, you're full of health again, which I suppose was good for PvP. Can you imagine trying to play the survival games nowadays, though, with, with having those like instant heal pots, like healing just by one click? I think that would be a bit more difficult. Uh, right, here we go. Let me just go up to here and make a sword. Alright, I need, do I need more sticks or what? Yeah, more sticks, okay. Let me just go right the way across. Stone sword. Stone axe. 
Uh, oh, I need one more piece of... Oh, no, I just need another stick. That's all it... Oh! Oh, yeah, I forgot B is to drop your items, by the way. Completely forgot to tell you about that one. I think it's because I did it by accident last night, and I completely forgot about it. There we go. Right, uh, what do I want to make? Let's have a look. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. What was it I was making? Oh, that was it. I was making a... Uh... Was it a shovel? Yeah, I think it was a shovel. <gasps> we should check out farming, actually. Now, how do we go about getting seeds? I don't remember how we got seeds before. Has it always been by breaking these? Or did you have to find seeds? I don't remember. Oh, yes, there you go. By breaking these, you get seeds. Beautiful stuff. Okay, cool. So, I'm pretty sure that wasn't in 1.6, was it? See, I can't remember what time 1.6 was. Because I've been around since the alpha days. So, a lot of this... A lot of the versions have just sort of flown by me. And I don't really remember them all that well. Uh, I can't really see anything down there. It's a bit dark. Is there any... No, I can't see a thing. No, get out. <laughs> get out of there. Jesus. Right, hold on. Let's give the farming a try in this. Let me just very quickly make myself a hoe. There we go. Make a stone hoe. Not that it makes any difference. Right, I tell you what. Let's head down to the ocean. Uh, there we go. Where are we looking? Do, do, do. Oh, inventory. That's it. That's what I was wanting to do. Thank you. I get it. I know what to do. There we go. If you want to skip any of the tutorial steps, by the way, you just press B. And it'll skip past all of them for you, which is good. Um, it's taken me a little while to get used to the, the controls for which ones are inventory and which ones aren't. Admittedly, I'd kind of prefer it if inventory was on select. Maybe that's an option on one of the different control menus, but obviously I don't really want to be changing away from the awkwardness of the other two. Right, hold on a minute. Oh, bloody hell. Up there. Go. There we are. Good. Right, okay. So if I go down to... Oh, there's another sheep. Ah, it's a grey one. There we go. Oh. Sorry, there we go. And attack. Gotcha. Thank you very much, sir. Right, we need some grass down by the water. So if I just, like, grab some of this. Oh, I've got a shovel. Wait, where is my shovel? I did make a shovel, didn't I? Yeah, I did. I thought I did. No, that's the map. Oh, wow, do you get given a map automatically in every game? I think that you do. Mm, do I like that? No, I don't think I do. I think it takes away the whole sense of discovery of how to make a map for people. Or at least that, you know, that wanting to make a map. If you just get given them one straight away. Because you've got to remember that for a lot of people, this is going to be their first Minecraft experience. They're going to see it on the arcade. They're going to be like, wow, this is on the Xbox now. You know, people have been going on about this on the PC for ages. And then now they're doing this. I don't I don't know if I'm digging that. No pun intended. Right, here we go. Uh, ho. So it's left click to hoe, beautiful stuff, and then you do that. Now, I wonder if I can go find any skeletons. Hmm. No. Okay, I'll tell you what, I'll leave it there for today. Uh, so there we go. That's Minecraft on the Xbox. All the tutorial. I think it's all the tutorial. <laughs> Chances are I didn't finish the tutorial, but that's fine. And uh, yeah, make sure you leave it in the comment section below if you're going to be getting Minecraft for the Xbox for a start. Let me know what your opinions are on it so far from what you've seen today or what you've played so far. And um, and yeah, let me know what you reckon to it. Uh, oh, as well, if you want me to do this as a Let's Play, put that down below. And don't forget to check out Lydia's video. I'm going to put a link in the description to that. So, um, so yeah. Hopefully you have a good day and I shall see you all in a little bit. Bye!